we did kind of briefly talk about Austin Eckler earlier. And then in the pre-show meeting, Sam and I went head to head about Austin Eckler. We, it was a cage match. You had to get pay-per-view, you know, over <laughs> the projections for Austin Eckler right now. Eckler is the running back four in consensus on fantasy pros. I have moved him down to the running back seven. I think it's just an extremely tough matchup against San Francisco. Uh, they are, a, there's a negative 30% run block advantage. So that means San Francisco has the defensive line advantage and they are the stingiest defense against running backs this year. They allow less than 15 total fantasy points to the running back position for a team uh, bottom percentile, bottom first percentile uh, among, for matchups. So, you know, we talked about Mike Williams being out, Keenan Allen being out, but I just don't see like an upside game for Austin Eckler. I do see a high floor though. And I think with all the targets that are going to be there, like Eckler's not going to bust on you, but to, to put him at running back four is um, that's, that's hoping for things to roll on the right side of variance. I, I believe. Yeah. You could make the case that uh, maybe top five is too high, but yeah, this is similar to the Aaron Jones situation with the matchups with guys. I mean, I, this is especially true for Eckler. You know, CMC on the other side. I mean, he's our, he's our wide receiver one. You know, just not, not just a name, just in the box score. This guy's going to have over 900 receiving yards. He's on pace to catch over 128 passes. I mean, these are wide receiver numbers, which is insane. And I originally thought that uh, – Herbert's uh, yards per attempt was sort of hampered by his rib injury, but really it's just a lack of weapons as a whole. And the offensive line isn't great. And he's just checking down to Eckler, especially in PPR formats. He, you mentioned it. He has that safe floor. And I mean, he's constantly finding the end zone. We were talking about, we were talking about this pre-show, you know, anyone that said uh, Eckler is going to regress in the touchdown department, that's definitely not going to happen this season. He has 10 touchdowns on the season. And the crazier part is, I mean, he had his first carry inside the five-yard line last week. That was already a number that I was expecting to regress uh, regress to the mean. So he has a safe floor. I, 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 think, I still think he has a pretty high ceiling in this game just because, I mean, the volume he's getting is absurd. He can catch 10 passes without you even having to blink. You know, we saw in the Denver game, there were, there were a lot of sharps on um, – Eckler's receptions total. And I remember going to the fourth quarter, he, he was going to go well under. And he caught like six passes in one drive. But you know, that's the kind of player he is. He, and you, you can't really blame Herbert, the Chargers offense. It's all they got. It's Josh Palmer and, you know, Eckler. So, yeah, like I don't really look to – I don't look into matchups with guys like – with that sort of profile with Eckler. And like I said, CMC on the other side. So, I mean, Eckler has been a top five running back each of the last five weeks. He's been the number one running back three of those weeks, just absolutely crushing it. And this is correlated directly with the Keenan Allen, Mike Williams existence, right? In the first three weeks, Austin Eckler, right? He, he had what was averaging seven targets. Uh, and now he's had games where he's at 12 and 16 and nine targets per game you mentioned the opportunities uh, Eckler is number one among running backs in opportunities and weighted opportunities number one in targets number one fancy points per game number one in total touchdowns catch rate is there best ball points added like Austin Eckler was still a great pick for you in the best ball streets this offseason so yeah, as long as one of Mike Williams and Keenan Allen are out I mean there's there's not really a reason to to lower Eckler lower than than I have him at. Yeah, and another thing with that stingy 49ers run defense, they're not giving uh, many yards on the ground, but they're top ten in uh, running back targets. So that just bodes great for Eckler. Yeah, you know, that's his game. So yeah, especially in PPR formats, he's fine. I mean, you can make a case that he shouldn't be top five this week, but. Probably depends on how many times he falls into the end zone. <laughs> exactly, and like at, at this there. point, yeah, I mean, at this point, you know, he's probably going to find the end zone 
two more times this game. You know, and then I'll look pod, foolish, but... you know. 